Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to the Kerbal Conquest of the Galaxy. And this time we are going to try and make nice with all of the peoples that we have conquered. After all, we've got these peoples from the Sejithari Kingdom. We created a little sector for them just to make sure they're as happy as possible with their own leader. Uh, but the Sejithari, I don't know how well they will integrate with our mighty empire. That is yet to be seen. There is also the matter of the Neo Kerbals, who are currently just at Rockamax, though I don't think we can expect them to stay just there. But we have got Neo Kerbals, who, uh, who find Rockamax to be a pleasant environment, as opposed to the Kerbals who are only 65% happy with the habitability. The Neo Kerbals are 100% happy because they've made genetic modifications and all. But they are generally not the most... Uh, well, they're not getting along with the Kerbals, let's put it that way. Yeah, so I'm not entirely sure what to do about that, except we have afforded them the right to vote and everything, right? Uh, so under our policies, We've prohibited native enlightenment because they didn't like that. And as far as leadership, Xenos are allowed and they're considered a Xeno. And that also uh, makes the Sejithari happy. Now, there is still a Sejithari kingdom, so we can do more conquest of them if we so choose. But we should probably absorb the peoples that we already have here. Make sure they're happy first. And of course, once they're happy, perhaps when we finally take over the rest of the Sejithari Kingdom, we can convince them that they can be happy too, under the new Kerbal Order. There is also the matter of our vassal, and we would like to, to integrate them as well. I don't know if we're ready to do that, uh, especially since our we're above our planet cap already, and they'll probably be in our core sector. Uh, we could create a sector out of them, but that is, uh, well, we would have to trust a uh, leader of their own ilk, and I want to make sure that that's alright. Anyway, let me take a look at how they're doing here. Happiness 19%, 14%. At least they're well suited to the area, but that's about all we can say. I could build, well, no, I can't build them, uh... A Xeno Zoo. We only have one available of that, and that's already being used on Rockamax. Powerful Pop Factions. Sejithari Repatriarchs. Uh, okay, well, there are 43 of them in our sectors. Construction complete. They want to return to the Sejithari Kingdom, no surprise. Let's manage... no, uh... Looks like it would, uh, cost more influence than we have in order to suppress media or bribe leaders. While well, bribing leaders cost 200 influence, we really need to rack up our influence. Integration campaign takes 100 influence. Reduce the frustration of nationalists by helping them integrate into their new society. Complete. I'd like to do that, yeah. Uh, the, for starters, but we'll have to rack up some influence first. Um, faction support, current 30%. Uh, chance to gain 10% support per month is 8.9%. So we'll have to watch out for that. I think there's a display down here with them. Yeah, Sejithari Repatriarchs, and they've got a little bar. There's Rockamax Sovereignty... Uh, sovereignty... what is it called? Underground. I guess they're Neo Kerbals? No, it's Species Kerbal. I don't know what Independent Dinja is about, and Independent New Moho Sector. When did these start dropping up? Uh, does it cost more to manage them, incidentally? No, uh, interestingly enough, even though they're smaller groups, you know, there's only three of them, it costs the same amount to do the managed faction. You would think that managed faction should scale with the number of people involved. I don't know. Mama Kerman. Bob Kerman? The new Moho Nationalist Commando is led by Bob Kerman. Maybe he's just named after Bob Kerman. Two populations on Rhea and one population on Omnitech. 
Anyway, very little chance that those guys will get any traction. It's the Sejathari that we're mostly worried about. Okay, uh, what technologies are we getting? Core sector plants plus one will solve our our excess planet situation there, which will also give us more influence and more energy credits. So that's nice, but that's going to take 38 months to finish. So that's a long ways away. Hmm, what other techniques do we have to make them feel a little bit better about themselves in our new new more diverse empire there's some energy credits in lesma lemsa i keep saying lesma instead of lemsa where are our ships okay well the the zosma one's the closest okay so zosma construction ship I need you to go over into Sijathari territory and claim some energy credits for us because we've only got a plus one there right now that's not good enough I doubt the Sijathari are gonna give me passage so let me talk to the Kovarian League to see if they'll give me the right of way Oh, is it... Ah, the alphabetizing was reversed. Oh, they're foxes! Okay. Interesting sound. Okay, I want to offer a trade deal, border access. Just civilian. Minus nine. And actually, it's minus nine, even if I... Yeah. So just just that they don't care about civilian access from me. So let's see, uh how about what do we have a lot of? We have some terraforming gases. Okay, we can give them a terraforming gas and they can give us civilian access. Since we only have one terraforming liquid, I don't think there's any benefit to having four terraforming gas. I think this will be fine. Let's let's try this. And then we'll be able to send ships out to there. Uh, oh, they said it's an outrageous trade offer and they don't want it. Okay, let's try to sweeten the deal, shall we? Uh, Non-aggression non -aggression pledge for 10 years? Okay, I guess uh, we have to worry about the Sejathari first anyway. And we'll give you the terraforming gas. Okay. Confirm. Okay, after much deliberation, they've decided to accept the proposal. They sure twisted our arms on that one. Okay, good. So... That fleet should be working. Alright, that science ship can move to the other sector that we haven't really surveyed. Admiral Tivi Kerman has died at the age of 85. Okay. I guess Tivi was in charge of all this stuff. No, Lizfi was. Tivi was on this one. I wonder why they're just hanging out there. But it says Lizfi is available. Liz. Uh oh. What just happened? <gasps> it crashed! First ever crash for Stellaris. Uh-oh. What did they do to it? Okay, well I'm gonna try and restart it, obviously. Fortunately, in Iron Man mode, it seems to save constantly. Oh, it didn't even require me to uh, load the save. It knew where I was. That's interesting. Oh so suspicious. That seems to have a couple of Tundra Worlds. I mean, is it the Neo Kerbals who can do Tundra Worlds better, or is it the normal ones? I say normal, that's probably an insulting thing. Habitability... No, uh, oh it's Kiramulan! The Kramlins! Okay, we got the Sigithari and then the Kramlins, these guys! are the ones who can colonize the tundra worlds. Well, 
I guess it's good that we're allowing them all to colonize since we'll be able to colonize more things and people will be happy colonizing them instead of being miserable. Well, we're not there yet anyway. Oh, uh, we're short on funds is a thing. But anyway, it's better that they're, they're active. Outraged. Ooh. Oh, they're not collecting much because they're outraged. Hmm. Well, it's probably better that they're actually working, though. I don't know. How about we replace that one with... Is there anything that'll make you guys happy? Uh, unfortunately, the Xeno Zoo is not a thing. I could sure use a power plant. But you guys are probably not going to give me the funds anyway. We have detected the presence of a primitive alien civilization on Binjul. They have advanced into the equivalent of an Iron Age and are divided into numerous petty kingdoms and empires. Their species has spread across almost the entire surface of the planet. Okay, uh, so can we can we go there? Interest. I uh, see. Uh, I need a way to zoom to that. We've got a big empire. We can't just have a little blurb like that. Activate that. I think it must be here. Yeah, there's the bin jewel. Well, it'd be really nice if we could actually... I don't want to lose influence, but having a frontier outpost to observe those guys would be nice. Okay, level up. We need... I still haven't got a defense station. Um, battleship assembly yards. Uh, leadership androids allowed as a policy. Uh, I'll hold off on that. Mineral silo, mineral processing plant. Uh, we've got pretty generous mineral storage already. Um, Alright, well, I guess the defense station sounds good. These auto cannons could do things that our existing weapons do not. Ballistic weapons. Sounds interesting for Kerbals. Should we allow android leaders? Wow, that could make things really complicated. But if, if at some point we have androids and we can't... I mean, this doesn't have to be turned on. We just have to have... I mean, we'll just have the technology, but it'll take a long time to unlock it anyway. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, top-notch technology. I guess we'll just go for this one. It'll be quicker, 12 months only. Okay, physics. Ion disruptor. Uh, Bilney is specializing in computers, so we can have Guardian Point Defense or Sentient Combat AI as a specialty thing got all these other possibilities, but I think Guardian Point Defense seems reasonable. Still 19 months since, uh, until we get a new core sector, poss uh, until we can get seven core sectors. Felnol Coalition is expanding over here. Shoot. Okay, um, we need to build a colony ship to prevent them from grabbing too much up there. That was supposed to be our thing. We we gave them Kuma. Now they took Antares and Botin. No, no, you are not allowed to do this. Uh, Jeb, Jeb, build me colony ship. And it looks like only Kerbals are applying. I guess we'll take it. A building has been ruined by a Sigithari repatriarchs on Lurgi Pash. Hey, that's that our uh, our governor's in charge of that one. That's not nice. Planetary capital. You actually go here, and I'm going to build you a power plant. We need more a uh, power hub, actually. Build power plant. So we're trying to make people happy here. We've got these Sejithari, we've got our vassals, we've got the Neo-Kerbals. 
and we're just trying to figure out how to make them happy. Oh, these guys are really pissed. Happiness 5%. See, there's this uh, repatriarchs. They, they want to separate themselves off again. I do not want that. Our governor, uh, ruling from Reblaga, should be making them happier, but doesn't look like by much. Nationalist corruption. Shoot. Will expire in 24 days? Okay. Well, okay, hopefully that'll clear up. He'll be Kermanus leveled up? Okay. But we've got a lot of work to do there. That's just being built. It'll cost us a lot of energy credits to clear up all this stuff. So I'll leave that be. We've got Kiramulans moving in here. Wow, we got Kerbals and Kiramulans living side by side. Give them free health care. Um, I, I get the feeling that uh, this is already very, you know, Star Trek-ish as far as the as far as the health care thing is concerned. From there, Hades seems like a good place. Sakis, but Tibor. No, oh, that's a desert world, and nobody likes that. Hixum, we really need to clean that so that we can get that Batharian stone. Okay, uh, well, let's start off with Hades. It's right here. I don't have Tundra colonization. Well, jeez. How do I not have Tundra colonization? Okay, how about Ramsir? Oh, the Repatriarchs are already doing their thing. And I guess we don't we can't colonize this one either, right? It's an ocean world. No, we should be able to colonize that. But it's not really worth a whole lot. We want that Batharian stone. Colonize planet. Yeah, sure. Why not? is gonna make it a little bit difficult on us because that's obviously very very far away and but the Felnol guys are our allies and this is our vassals so we should have right away to it at least you know keep them on their toes okay oh engineering research research complete and society research let's see about society research so now we we're balanced on our core sectors Amoeba Flagella. Danley can do anything. Form Federation. Leader Recruitment Cost. Well, our uh, influence is pretty low, so reducing the leader influ uh, recruitment cost would be nice. I don't really need a bigger navy. Alright, we'll go with that. Construction complete. Quantum Missiles, Gauss Cannon, I put off Gauss Cannon for a while, Engineering Facility 2 would be good, that could upgrade some of our stuff, probably. Yeah, Engineering Facility 2. I'm pretty sure we control this space between this part and this part. I don't think anybody else is gonna be able to wedge in there. There's no world there for them to do so. So that's weird. There's a planet here, potentially habitable, but uh, we haven't actually colonized it. Several of our tracking stations have picked up peculiar subspace echoes coming from somewhere in intergalactic space. The echoes are faint, but getting stronger. They seem to be approaching our galaxy. A storm is on the horizon. Uh-oh. Begins the coming storm event chain. Log updated. Wow, we've got a lot of ships in here, though. Oh, uh, those stations. Mining stations. There's only one ship here. Colony ship can be sent there. Okay, we, we should colonize that, then. I guess we can give Absaja Min to Dunia? But we've had trouble with that. Actually, this sector already has five, so we can't add cannabis to it. That's annoying. Lyrum. 
Oh, we've got... We've got... Oh, whoa, what are those? A Bevni. A Bevni... A Fungoid is... They, they, they're... They're... They're coming in. We, we've got immigrants. We've got immigrants. These guys are still unhappy, though. So they're immigrating all over the place and they're unhappy. If only we could convert the minerals to credits. But the last time I tried that, well, let's see in this new version of Stellaris, they updated it, whether I can do the kind of deal that I thought I should be able to do. Let's do it with the Felnol Coalition, our allies. Offer trade deal? I'm going to uh, give you a monthly transfer of of minerals, and you give me energy credits. Oh, shh. went to negative a thousand. Really? Okay, um, how about an instant transfer? That might be a little bit better for you. Uh, hold shift. Construction complete. I think this is something I should only do in an emergency, though. I'm interested to see whether it'll work, though. Let's make sure there's a plus one there. Okay. Let's see if uh, they'll accept this. I'm just curious. Oh, it's uh, they've accepted the terms. Okay, so that that at least works now. But month to month, they won't do it. They won't give me even one energy credit per month in exchange for minerals per month. Incidentally, uh, basically we gave them one to one. Uh, since it's a 10 year deal, that's 120 months. And we're spending 10 per month, so that's 1,200 minerals. And they gave us like 1,480 energy credits. So basically a one to one conversion. Well, things are proceeding. How is that? Uh, no, they're, they're, they're actually getting ready to rebel kind of thing here. Let me manage them. Sagittarian Repatriarchs, 5% Sabotage, 100% Corruption. Let's uh, try an integration campaign. I don't want to... I, I would like to sort of bribe the leaders, but uh, that seems to be the most effective thing as far as I'm concerned. But Research complete. Okay, well, let's integrate them, maybe. Maybe that'll help. I don't know, did that help? Complete. I can't really tell if that helped or not. Hmm. Colony yeah. Established. I'd like a little bit more feedback about how bad things are there. Uh, well, uh, things are getting worse. It's up to 70% now. Shoot. Lurgy Pash is especially unhappy. Hmm. Well, maybe Absaja Min is balanced. I haven't heard about the Neo Kerbals revolting at all. You guys happier now? 55%, 40... I mean, that this one is only 38.5%. That's pretty bad. That's like Sigithari levels of not liking the situation. Oh, this Kerbal is only 17.5%. That's the one that works at the Xeno Zoo. That's that's the thing that's supposed to make them happy. It hates working at the zoo. That's sad. Engineering research. Minerals, plus 5%. Well, hey, that's just pretty straightforward right there. Alright, don't mind if I do. But we've got a huge mineral abundance. Trade deal expired with the Gagasi Consciousness. I would like to see, when that happens, I would like to see what the details of that tra trade deal were. And see if we can restore it. I mean, that was a thing that you could do in civ Civilization as well, I thought. 
Now that we have a right of way deal with this empire here, the Kaverian League, we can send science ships up here, can't we? That's an idea. Here, survey that system. Now we have to make sure we can bring them back. That would be sort of important. We can do more science. This is excellent. Oh, there's a black hole there. Ooh. Actually, uh, you make that a priority. Oh, uh, Finn is ready? Okay, Lobra. We need better names for these places, though. Uh, so that means we can send a construction ship to build a mining station there. And a mining station there. So we'll get the Vitharian stone. Alliance invitation? That's not for us. Lobra's doing okay. We can spend some money in order to clear up stuff. Let's make sure there isn't any dangerous wildlife for them. Oh, I thought I... Oh, that's already clearing. Okay. Uh, maybe a governor is good. Edmund Kerman. That's science output, though. Uh, yeah. Reassign her to here. Ooh, plus six happiness. Wow. Uh, and uh, as far as the new Moho sector, Edmund Kerman with his uh, research thing will be better. Danily Kerman, no! Danily Kerman cannot actually be replaced, but, but we'll have to hire another person. Uh, research speed plus 10%, yeah, that's, that's the one we want, alright. Oh, uh, he did level up. I was gonna say I wish he'd level up so that he could make people happier. But he has leveled up. That's good. He's got unemployment. What is he thinking? Um, yeah, I mean, he's got unemployment there. I don't like that. Unless this particular species likes unemployment. I don't know. Unfathomable, some of these peoples. Incoming transmission. Oh, what have we got here? Migration access. Kagasi consciousness. Allow the other party's population to migrate to own plants for the duration of a trade deal. Everybody wants to immigrate. Well, I guess, uh, alright, we'll be just one big happy multi-species empire. Alright. They're pretty, pretty high up on the not liking the situation thing. I don't think I have a option except to suppress media at this point. And maybe a little bit more of that too. 70%, oh, it's already back to 80%. Um, stop that. We'll need a lot more influence to deal with them. Okay, our mineral storage is full. At this point, we could probably allow the sectors to keep more of theirs, then. Beneficial effects to population health. There you go. Uh, that, that, that might be nice. Got nationalist corruption, but uh, maybe that is good. How much Engos vapor do we have? Three. Habitability is rating 95% though. I don't think this is the place to do that. I wonder how we can tell it to Construction send complete. the Batharian stone over here. That's funny. Why why isn't it sending the, the Batharian stone over here? We've got one Batharian stone. This is a Batharian power plant. Let's see if I deactivate and then reactivate. It's just not collecting the energy credits. I don't know if it's worthwhile to upgrade all of these, but we'll see. Xenophobe, spiritualist, happiness 0%. Happiness 0%. Jeez. And the nationalist corruption continues. I just want a governor that'll make them happy. But I guess... Uh, upping the science output is the best we can get. 
We don't have any blockers on the planet. Oh, we don't have enough influence. Every member population spawns a defense army and attempts to take control over the planet. Okay, well, I need to build some more forces on those planets, is that what I think. Armies. We've got only four defense armies. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's build... an equivalent amount of, well, even more defense armies. And how about doing that in all of our places? This one is building one. It hasn't actually gotten anywhere. That's worrisome. Maybe maybe they don't build it because they're they're annoyed or something? I don't know. Okay. Max armies. Well, at least we have the energy credits for him. Okay, proceed. The strange subspace echoes we detected in intergalactic space are now approaching the outer rim of our galaxy. Several smaller contacts appear to be racing ahead of the main body of echoes towards a number of rim systems. We have entered the positions of these systems into the situation log and will continue to monitor the situation, situation. log. Updated. Okay, situation log. 